you think you can feed me? I'll, feed, I'll be okay. You can be like like Cyrano. I'll be going. <laughs> you run it? Yeah, yeah. Poetry, prose. Okay. So I know you as a great comic actor. You are, to me, very, very funny. Is there anything that, that um, discovering comedy and figuring out how to be funny is like discovering poetry? Is there any similarity in that? I think uh, irony. I think sarcasm and takes. That's all I know about comedy. So I don't know about takes so much in poetry, but the sarcasm and the, the, the irony part, I think, works. Uh, I, 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 haven't, I haven't read poetry since conservatory. You know, what a, what, a, what a real treat this is for, I think, all of us. You know, we don't spend an awful lot of time sitting around, at least I don't, reading poetry. I mean, I guess I do to my kids, but I don't tend to count the words uh, and circle the operative words. What poetry do you read to your kids? Uh, who do we read? A lot of English, sort of stuff like Spike Milligan. A lot of the, a lot of he believe it or not, Spike when he was in and out of mental institutions wrote a lot of poetry. I know them. And my children, yeah. Do you have this any of his stuff? No, but I just said teeth, English teeth. You know yeah. that, that song, that thing he wrote. I'm not familiar English with that teeth one. English teeth is going to be done at Carnegie Hall. Is it? <laughs> yeah. With Spike, all of those guys, Peter Sellers, when I was a guy, I, I do funny voices for the kids too. Peter Sellers had one, The Haggis Season, about how everyone goes out and hunts a haggis. And um, and uh, a penniless French mouse called Jacques, in berry boots and pelted. Mag. But uh, uh, so that's, the, I do the, the voices in the silly stories, but the, getting a chance to do the poetry. Or but isn't it the same thing? I guess it is. I think, yeah, I, what I love about the poetry, what I find is so clever is just the imagery, the imagery, the, the imagery, you know, and I love that it's, that you chose an American, I'm the first American in my family, we're all English, so I love that you chose an American poet. I'm a huge fan of Billy Collins. I think he was two or three poet laureates later. Yeah, and it's funny because out of all the poem people, I'd say... 50% requested to do Billy Collins, and I, and I could have done yeah. a whole album with him. What I love about Billy is he has this great delivery. And it's so simple to just drop every last word, and you're being totally <laughs> faithful to his piece. But now who, Robert Pinsky was under, was he Clinton? Who was he under? I think Clinton, yeah. Who was because, he? Yeah, I knew him because uh, we were both, uh, uh, I wrote an essay and he wrote an essay. And Did we you meet, do you know him? No, just, just through the internet, but he knows a little bit about me from our mm -hmm. collaboration, mm -hmm. uh, but I really wanted him on the on the CD. But tell me quickly about growing up in England because you did grow up in England, right? I did. And there's more of a poetic history and poetic tradition there. <sighs> Absolutely, and I mean, you know, my my mother and my father were constantly uh, reading poetry. I mean, reciting poetry. They, they, also, it's sort of in the it, it's in the national psyche. Even my cousins, who are younger than I am, because I left England when I was very young. They will sit around the dinner table and just a poem will come out of nowhere. And um, I feel intimidated culturally when I sit there with my English family and they all have it in them. And stuff they learned in boarding school. And, it, and it's just not... When I came back and moved to Laguna Beach, it wasn't something we were made important, you know? Well, now it will be. And Thank you. That's fantastic. Now I just need you to look at the camera and say the word poetry. Poetry.